Hi friends, just your neighborhood previous gay rights activist here. I'm coming online to talk about just ideology in general. Now, a lot of people really want to be treated fair and equitable, right? We all want human rights, we all want to be treated fair, and not only do we want that, we want to be able to be free to express ourselves. But what limit does that really cross when we go and we expect other people to believe the same way as we do? So for example, if I were to bring up several different things about morality and ethics, and I talk about a few things, which I don't believe, but I'll use as an example, wiping out children, burning down villages, destroying all books, those things have limitations. Even if you were to go burn a Bible, for example, you could do so, but to take every Bible in the world and burn it does a discredit. So for example, how it would help somebody who doesn't support the Bible, is they would quote from the Bible like atheists or Muslims or several other factions do, and it actually is used to prove their point. So in light of that, we do have limitations as people. Now, if I'm gonna talk about the trans movement, we can talk about a couple different things. I'm gonna bring up the nation of Uganda for just a second. So the nation of Uganda, if you're not aware, has been active in trying to hold to its traditions and its cultures. Now, there are many countries that are taking this very same stance in regards to this movement, which we are seeing around the world, of basically trying to completely integrate transism and queerism into cultures and normalize odd behavior. And if you're not sure what queer means, it literally means one who acts with a strange behavior. Now, if you go to the Psychological Association website, I believe, it says that this is a slur or a slogan that's been chanted, but actually is a word that predates to the 1500s. That literally means anyone who acts strange. So to normalize strange behavior and to sit there and accept it as what everybody needs to embrace, I think is a little bit intolerant. Now, should there be a place? Perhaps maybe you can have a business and maybe people can go to that business or maybe there are places or residencies that are not in the general public such as strip joints are an example of that. Uh, there are other places like porn institutions that are not open to the public. But my point is that when we in general, try to make everyone believe the same, it's going to have the exact backlash.